fam welcome back to another episode of Jen Gaga's world today I'm just here to give a couple of quick words just in memory of my son Angel as you'll notice in the clips that I'll include later in this video that yesterday was his 13th birthday today is now January 6th and it's 2022 and it's just crazy to think back that 13 years ago I was not where I'm at here I was actually sad depressed very just felt very lonely even though I was surrounded very much so by family um, but I just wanted to come on here this is like my annual thing to do for him and it's not something that you know sometimes I want to come on here and talk a little bit more about it other times I think is it too much like I would never want people to think that I'm doing this just for the sake of views but I also feel that it is a taboo and we still very much live in a world that it just doesn't really get discussed as much as it should or that I feel that it should um, and it's just crazy to think that within the last year I have learned of whether it's famous YouTubers that are well known in the industry, whether it's friends, whether it's family, just people that just all around us and I shouldn't say people but women, women that are experiencing such loss whether it's at the beginning of your stage of pregnancy, whether it's at the end of your pregnancy, whether it's stillbirth, whether it's in the middle like myself. For any of you who do not know, I'll make sure to include the video here um, in the description as well as in the little informational um, pop-up. But I just want you to understand that I'm one that already had children. So this wasn't something that I had even expected. I mean, of course it can happen to anyone. Um, but it's something that I just never thought it would happen to me, especially how I had already gone through three successful pregnancies. So for those who don't know, um, I lost my son at 18 weeks pregnancy. <clears throat> and I had no actual, um, like, official warning signs. Of course, I had been feeling a little more tired. I had noticed a little bit of a different type of discharge. I know it's TMI, but it's just that's what this type of video is about. But I'd never thought nor did any of my, um, you know, OBG appointments uh, alert the doctor to say, hey, you know, there's something wrong here or there might be something wrong. Maybe we need to do more testing. So it was something that just came out of the blue. Um, literally one night to the next morning and I woke up in severe cramping pain resulting in the loss of our child so I just really wanted to um, put that out there and again remind everyone um, that it's okay to talk about it and if you don't like videos like this please continue to you know click to the next video because I never want to um, have someone be nervous or be pregnant and and feel nervous that, oh my gosh, this happened to her so I could be losing my child. That's the one thing that I think for many, we hesitate and we don't want to share, we don't want to talk about it because we would never want to put this on someone and have that fear in their pregnancy. Um, but for those of you who might be pregnant and watching this and worried, or perhaps you've gone through this before, know that I still was able to you know have a rainbow baby my daughter um so this video is just something i really I, I i thought about what can i do this year that's different i didn't go back and watch past videos from last you know few years that i've been doing this i just really wanted to come on here at first like i said i thought i, I thought i would write down what i would talk about um but i just wanted to come on here and just really just speak from the heart and i don't want to make it super long and I just really wanted to talk about it and just say that it's going to be okay. Um, I know that I've had friends that are close to me reach out to me and say, hey, you know, I never really talked about it, but your story has inspired me to keep moving forward. And for me, those are those stories and those um, things that I hear or read, when whether they're calling me, texting me, messaging me via um, social media. And for me, that's the important part, and that makes it so meaningful to me that because I've been open and sharing my story that others feel that they have some kind of hope 
And so for anybody that may be watching this, I don't want to draw like make this a super drawn out video. I have my story up and I don't want to kind of relive that every year and I do have it there so if any of you wish to go back and watch. But this video is more just to say, here we are. I'm celebrating my son would have been a teen at this year. Obviously he wouldn't have been born January. He would have he was due to be born in June. He would have been a teenager this year. Those moments of life that you think about that we would have been going through. And it I'm not saying that it'll be okay for you in 13 years. You might still be sad. You might be happy. You might not even think about it. You may not even want to talk about it. But for me, I choose to think about it. I choose to embrace those moments that whether or not he's here with us, he's still with us in spirit. I feel like he sends me little signs. You'll watch when we were um, blowing out his candles. There was a candle wouldn't stop like blowing back, like burning, uh, turning back on. And, you know, I for me, it, it may just be mere coincidence. But for me, if that makes me feel better and that's what my family allows us to keep his memory alive, why not? So... Um, so again, just really wanted to come on here and just share those words and say that for any of you that may be experiencing a sense of loss, whether it just recently happened, my condolences to you, um, whether you've been going through this for the last few years, you know, kudos to you for just staying strong and moving forward. And even if you don't have other children, like for me, I know it was like my husband and my kids and my family I still had to live on. All right, you guys, so I apologize for the change in the imagery here, but what did I say earlier? My son sometimes does some things. No, I'm kidding. Um, I had finally gotten my camera up and running. It's just so much easier to pull my phone out and record that way that um, I hadn't used my camera. And I finally found the little adapter that goes into my laptop and thought, okay, let me just go ahead and use my camera so that I can actually transfer to my laptop and I can edit, do what I got to do. And what did I forget to do? Rookie move. I forgot to charge the battery. Again, I haven't used it in months. So it died within the moment I was speaking with you all. Um, so I'm not sure how long I got in the video, but um, what I was get getting at, I was like in the moment and my thing says check battery pack and dice. <laughs> so I apologize for that mix up and for that um, cut in video, but basically what I was getting at is just saying that for any of you ladies that may be experiencing that, that feeling of loss, that grief, whether you just recently experienced it within the last few months, whether it's, you know, a couple years ago, whether it's days, whatever that is, just know that we will get through this together, whether that's you and coping and just keeping the memory alive whether it's just keeping quiet, just know that there's no wrong way to grieve and everyone's entitled to their own timeline. For me, it, I will say that I immersed myself. I've shared my story before, like I said already, but I immersed myself into my studies and I feel like that was my way of kind of being on my own and having the excuse to be reserved to myself during my study sessions, but really having that moment where for me, it was having a reason to disconnect from the daily hustle and bustle and just focus on my studies. And for me, that's how it helped cope, how it helped me cope. I'm not saying that would work for everyone. Some may say, how the heck would I ever even study or do work or anything? I just want to cur curl up in a ball and cry. And that's okay, too. I did that. I did that. I want to say at least those first few weeks until I finally was tired of being tired and tired of being just sad with nothing else to look forward to. And that's what gave me that oomph, you know, to get up and, and just move on to my next chapter. And so again, it's not saying that it's okay to not do one thing or to do the other or not do the other. It, there's no wrong way to grieve. And I just want you all to know that like they say, April showers bring May flowers. It's just allow yourself to grieve, allow yourself to go to, through that process. And eventually you don't, and I know sometimes I think naturally we feel like we're going to forget and we don't want to forget those moments. I trust me, I went through that. Um, but you won't like, those are things that I think for, for those of us that go through these moments, unfortunately, these are feelings that we will always feel. Um, 
but it only allows us to move forward. I think that just thinking about it and talking about it with those loved ones that you trust to speak to it to, or just speak to yourself, write it in a journal, however it is, just know that you could get through this. And that's basically what this is about. This is a long winded message to say, you're going to be okay. You'll learn to, to, to live with it. Unfortunately, that may sound like torture for some, but I think for us, for my family, it's our way that we've made it special and made it okay. And the one thing that it just, it gives us that good feeling that he's still there very much with us and he's never gone away. And I just say thank you to Angel. Thank you, you know, our, to our Angelito in heaven because I've said this before, had my son been born and he would have been healthy and here thriving on this earth, I don't know that I would have tried again. I would have never known what it is to be a mom of a, of a daughter. And I, for so many years, wanted to have a daughter. And at first, I've mentioned this before, I'm sure in other uh, past videos, I felt guilty because I felt like, okay, once I had my daughter and now I'm like, you know, it almost felt selfish because it's like, well, because he passed, now I have my daughter. And had it not been that way, I would have never had my daughter. We just never know. And um, I just thank the Lord that I have my kids and they're here and they're healthy. And that he blessed me with an angel in heaven that we will forever look forward to meeting one day. But with that said, that's pretty much what it was. This is more of just a quick uh, journal, just speaking out loud and just really wanted to share my story, my ongoing way of battling grief. And thank you so much for listening. If you are new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe. I can't promise that I'll do videos like this often, but I definitely want you to know that I'm here to um, listen. If you ever want to, you know, include a comment down below, I'll make sure to respond and give you my thoughts. But with that said, just thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. And for Angel, feliz cumpleaños. I know today's the sixth, but in my heart, it's your birthday forever. So love you. All right, bye. There is one. So Vanessa's putting the sparkle candles. But I forget that the cake's hard, huh? Because of the ice cream. It's ice cream cake from Cold Stone. We got dark chocolate ice cream with yellow cake. Yeah. I think that's too close. It's fine. Alright, son. Alright, guys. Alright. Talk to you in a bit. Bye. 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 Bye.